It's a wonderful event and Jenny McCarthy does it every year, as do many, many photographers. Now, our next guest is, uh, is I suppose, uh, best known for her breakthrough single in 2006, I Wish I Was a Punk Rocker, with uh, two trips to Australia, a festival appearance in China, and European shows under her belt in 2013 alone. Uh, the Scottish singer-songwriter has also released her fifth covers, uh, her fifth album, which is called The Covers Collection, and it features acoustic cover versions of classic rock tunes from, for example, November Rain by Guns N' Roses to Alone by Heart. This month sees Sandy embark on a spring tour stretching out across the month, including a stop at Killarney's INEC. Sandy joins us now, but first, let's take a look at Sandy's smash hit, I Wish I Was a Punk Rocker, and her latest single, Flesh and Blood. Oh, I wish I was a punk rocker with flowers in my hair. In 77 and 69, revolution was in the air. I was born too late into a world that doesn't care. Oh, I wish I was a punk rocker with flowers in my hair. You got to live like the last of love. Show my White piano, very fancy, Sandy. <laughs> You're very welcome, Sandy. Oh. We were just saying, I wish I was a punk rocker eight years ago, that yeah, was. Yeah, eight years, I know. It's crazy, isn't it, when you <laughs> think about it? Where did it go? Do, when people now refer to us as your breakthrough single and blah, 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 do you kind of think, oh, that was, that was a long time ago, that was a different me? You know, I mean, I, it was a little different because I was a lot younger, a lot more naive and innocent, you know, and just starting out and... Uh, I mean, I've learned so much in the last eight years and I've made five albums and, you know, it's, uh, but it, it feels like just one giant never ending, you know, roller coaster. It's, it's a great event, mm. you know, it, it's a great adventure. I'm very lucky. You've done some incredible things in the last eight years. You, uh, th that broke out, you sold a million copies on that first album, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I know. Uh, and I would imagine the pressure on you to repeat that was quite considerable. But being the willful Scott that you are, you decided, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Well, I made another album with uh, Sony, The Pink and the Lily. Mm. And, uh, you know, I think back then I was still finding my feet, you know, stylistically. I didn't mm. really know where I was going to end up. So when, when that relationship ended with the major label, I took it upon myself to, you know, start an independent and, and figure out, you know, where I went from there. So I made Merchants and Thieves and, and that was very kind of 180 swing into the blues direction. But, well, I was going to say that because the last time I, I, you were on with us, mm, yeah, it was a blues album you were promoting. I know, I know. And that was the, the great thing about having the freedom to just do what you wanted to do without anybody breathing down your neck. Is it scary leaving... You know, the fatherly, shadowy wing <laughs> of Sony and wandering out on your own, you know, because you were yeah. really young when you were doing no, it. No, it definitely is. And I think that the hardest part is learning the business, you know, but yeah. I, I had a keen eye. So I, I, I always watched how it worked and, uh, you know, I've applied that throughout the years. And uh, the Flesh and Blood, which is the fourth album, um, you know, I think that really was where I kind of honed in on what my sound is, you know, that early 60s, 70s. Uh, I, I love harmony, I love, you know, rhythm um, and, and, you know, and the lyric is very important to me. So it's taken me a little while to figure out who, you know, who I am and, and what my sound is. Do you think if you stayed with the big boys that you would have ever arrived at where you are now or would you have been moulded into something mm. they wanted to create? The suffocating think, embrace of yeah, the major? Yeah. I mean, I, I, listen, it, it's, it, I, don't, I don't knock it, it works for a lot of people, but um, I don't think I was the cookie cutter pop girl, you yeah. know, so I think that I, I love to explore and, and, you know, try different things out and it's it's just a never ending mm. journey, you know, but you get but I mean, creative. The business yeah. has changed, it's, it's, it's ironic actually, if you look at the last 10 years from when you came in to now, yeah. the business is, has changed out of all recognition. There's, there's no point in being a major label artist anymore. There's no point in even trying to sell records that way anymore. Yeah. In fact, if you want to do it, what you need to do is you need to set up a cottage industry. Right. 
and, and go out and tour it, mm -hmm. and then and that's how you will do it. Yeah. And by the way, you'll probably make more money because you'll own it all yourself, yeah. <laughs> well, rather than paying true. the bank or sorry, you, the record uh, you, company. You definitely have a lot less of you know a lot less hassle in your life when you own everything. And I mean, that's what I've done for the last you know eight years is just toured and toured. Mm. You know, all over the world, Australia, Scandinavia. You know, and this year I go to New Zealand, back to Australia, all over Europe, and the States as well. So, I'm assuming you like the road, do you? You know, it's it's a it's a life you have to like you have to love it to do it. You know, it's not something for the faint-hearted and uh, you, you know, have to be built for it. Being too, a girl yeah. and yeah. having all your little trinkets and things that you like, you know, you have to be. It's like a military operation when you go out there. But because you love your your Malibu is your home and you love it there, so I, do you miss I, it? I, do you ache for it's home? It's not too you're... shabby, you know. <laughs> but, um, I do miss it and I get more and more homesick I think as I get older there's you know talks of oh let's get a dog and you know and oh, then you're settled, settled down. down and all those things come into play but there's still something in you that itches to get out there you know and I think that there's nothing better than the feeling of going out and playing a show and it, you know, delivering your best performance and people are, are you know just so happy. Well you don't have a choice in what you do really I mean it's this it's a vocation. It is, you know, and it's, it's since I was a kid, it's been my vocation in life, you know. Let's, let's talk about the, the album, Let's yeah. talk about the, uh, the covers collection. And, and uh, We were it, talking about the songs you've chosen you, to cover. If you, yeah. if you were to talk to any musician, they have songs that they love dearly, that were mm -hmm. touchstones for them, that influenced them, and they'd love to do their own versions of it. Mm -hmm. But it's a very, it's a very, it's very thin ice. Yeah. Because, it, it, particularly if you take iconic songs. Now, I, it, I, the selection is very interesting. Mm. Uh, November Rain, I Can't Make You Love Me, which mm -hmm. um, I heard Bonnie Raitt do in the National Stadium here. And I think everybody in the audience that night had tears either tears or, or chills uh, yeah. or a combination of all of them. River um, is Johnny Mitchell, I'm assuming, from Blue, is it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Dream On, is that the Aerosmith song? That is, yeah. Yeah, right. Um, uh, More Than Words is Extreme. Yes, which was a huge hit when I was a kid. Well, now here's so the, these are all songs that for you have there's a common theme personal here. meaning. There's Alone yeah. by Heart, there's More Than Words <laughs> by Extreme. You're definitely a child of the 80s, I Oh, yeah. yeah. November true. Rain, so a child of the 80s and big hair bands, I suspect. Well, big hair bands, and I love the classic rock. You know, my, my yeah. parents had a real eclectic record collection, so it was everything from you know, the blues to the classic rock and uh, to the Americana. And then, of course, my mom was big into, like, Joni Mitchell and, um, you know, Joan Baez and Bob Dylan. So, you know, and then, of course, Guns N' Roses was my was my, what my brother was listening to. Yeah. We were teenagers, so I was wearing the, the Doc Martens and the Nirvana T-shirt and, you know, and getting down and, you know, that was the grunge period. Mm. But so, you know, I wanted to be the, the, the girl in November Rain, you know, the video. And these, these songs for me bring back, you know, great memories or, you know, real poignant times in there my life. There is a nostalgic vibe to it, definitely. And I, and I am nostalgic. Yeah. It's just, you know, I, I'm a nostalgic songwriter. So I guess these songs are just... Well, you will you lean to go forward, don't Before you? we run out of time, will you share a song with us from the album? I will. Well, what, will what, are, yeah, what are you going to choose? Well, I'm going to do uh, November Rain, which is, is has become particularly popular on YouTube. So.
November rain, Sandy, Tom, and just in case you want to see more of that, uh, you can see Sandy in uh, the INEC in Killarney on April the 20th. Tickets available from all good outlets. Have you played the INEC before? I have not. You, you will know, love it. It's a great venue. Killarney is actually quite an uh, important place for it's me. It's a yeah. big room. That's where my granny's from. <laughs> you should oh, play yes. Okay. Yes. What? You're one of us. <laughs> We've got you. I am actually. I'm yeah. part Irish. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Well, uh, it's also available uh, for download, I would imagine, uh, and in record stores if you can still find them. Sandy Tom, the Corbus Collection. You right. can still find record stores. Sure. Oh, well, actually, oh, okay, well, Tara's still going, there and, and HMB is reopened again. So, oh, still there still you go. Sandy, pleasure, okay. and I'm sure Thank people will go in their droves to hear you play. Thank you very much. Love it to see you again. We're going to take a break, I think. Yeah. See you in a while.